So I just got something for my car in the mail that I ordered a while ago. This here. So this should be a white shark fin aerial replacement. So it's going to replace my Lancer aerial from the black pointy one to the to like a shark fin. Let's open the box. So here it is, yeah. So here it is. As you can see, it's got the actual aerial attachment. I have to do a test after I put it in to actually see if it sounds anything like the original aerial, because I'm skeptical. And here is how it's going on. So I'm also skeptical, skeptical about this because it's actually just adhesive tape. So let's get started. So the only thing that I know you'll need for this, at least to make it last longer, is a hairdryer. So I'll show you exactly what to do with this shortly. But first up, we just need to clean part around the aerial. So this whole area needs to be pretty clean otherwise it won't stick as well as it should. So give it a good wash. Next step is to just remove the aerial. So in most cars including the Lancer, just grab the aerial and twist it anti-clockwise. It'll just screw right out. There you go. So if you do get a shark fin aerial and you replace this one, don't throw this one out because that one, wherever I put it, it's pretty cheap and it might stop working. You'll always be able to go back to this one. You just grab your hair dryer. Make sure to use the, the hot, hot setting. Just peel off the first backing. Make sure you leave the 3M side for the actual car because that's stronger. And just heat it up. So this is really hot right now. And then just stick it on to the actual shark fin itself. There we go. So it's actually pretty difficult to get on straight because it gets a bit floppy. So maybe even get someone else to help you with that step. So the next step is to put these in. So these nuts come attached to this. So this is the new aerial. So you've got to take one of these nuts off. So take the opposite end, not the one that has the slit in it. So take the one that's flat, take that one off completely and then just screw it straight in. So the part with the slit should be out of the aerial hole. So you want to leave a little bit hanging out and then screw that nut down tight. So that shouldn't move. Next step is to take the aerial itself. So don't actually take the backing off the sticker and attach it straight on. So put the aerial loop around this and then put the other nut on top to hold it in place. And then we'll get to sticking it down. There's a few different ways you could do this. I decided to screw it down first because I thought it would be easier than dealing with an exposed sticky, st sticky surface while screwing it in. But this way you will need to rip a part of the backing tape off as you're pulling it off. But it shouldn't be too big of a deal. So for now just heat up the back so it gets nice and hot, rip it off and then just try and stick it down as flat and as straight as you can. Hold it there for a while. And once you've done sticking it down just get the hairdryer out again and just heat around the edges just to make sure the, the adhesive is nice and stuck. There we go. So after all, after all of that, just open up your car and test out your radio. Yeah. So there you go. Pretty easy installation. Hopefully it should stay on there pretty well. The 3M tape is actually stronger than it seems. So there you go.